This study we titled Monitoring of Millimeter Scale Deformations in Tallinn using PS Sensor Analysis of Sentinel-1 data is presented by Denis Oya and Antti Gruno from company Tatel. The aim of this study was to monitor the stability of benchmarks in Tallinn city centre. Those benchmarks have been levelled in 2007, 2008 and 2019 with average precision about 1 mm. For the inside analysis, Sentin-1 data and persistent scattering interferometric method, shortly PS INSAR or PSI, was used, were used. Line of sight velocities from ascending to ascending orbits were estimated for time period about four and a half years long. And also velocity velocities for shorter about Yearly periods were also estimated. The displacements of 116 benchmarks from repeated leveling, levelings over time period about 12 years shows us that most of benchmark benchmarks were stable. However, there are a few benchmarks which seems to subside during that time period. The sensor analyzed was based on the about 200 images per orbit and Sarpros software on Scylla server was used. The computation steps are explained by the block diagram. The distribution of loss data points shows negative velocities in middle of area. However, for further comparison with leveling results, the loss velocities were converted to horizontal and vertical velocities by using trigonometric relation and solution of linear system. The loss data points from ascending and descending orbits do not overlap spatially. Therefore, it was, it, it was necessary to compute loss velocity models by using reading and GMT software. From the loss velocity models, it was possible to compute horizontal and vertical uh, models. Based on the vertical velocity models, the interpolation was done to estimate velocities at, on, at benchmarks. And comparison, shows good agreement between leveled and PSI results in 2016 and 2020. However, the agreement was not so good between the leveled and PSI results over the short time periods. But those velocity models for short time periods revealed another interesting features. For instance, in 2016, 2017, there is a clear subsidence and two years later there is a clear uplift in the study area. Conclusions. Benchmarks in Tallinn city center were monitored and could fit between leveled velocities and PSI velocities over a long time period was found. Monitoring of short time of uh, PSI velocities over short time is also beneficial because it was possible to see distinct subsidence in 2016, 2017 and uplift two years later. And there's definitely many challenge, challenges for the future. And one of them is what are the sources of displacements? The groundwater level from one well in Tallinn city center shows a significant decrease, about two meters in 2016-2017 and a moderate increase about one meter in 2018-2019. That could be the reason of those clear subsidence and uplift patterns we saw uh, with, the, with the models, PSI velocity models for short time periods. But there is also local movements and one example is the wall benchmarks 
when all benchmark which shows uh, about 5 mm subsidence for the time period 2019-2020 and the reason could be the construction site nearby about 10-15 meters it seems seems to be quite new probably started in 2020 